Right, just another update on my automation and where I'm up to. So, at the moment, I've just got one of my diesel shuttle rail cars going around, a Lint diesel class, going through the station again, like on the last video. Uh, so, I had a think and trying out various different packages, and I thought to myself, anyway, I was on rock rail, I thought. Do you know what? Let's tr let's go back to I train and see if we can get it going because I have paid for the full package on that. So I just persevered and found the fault of what was causing it not to connect to my uh, command station. It was a shortcut on the worktop on the uh, desktop. Um, it and launched it from the main program and it's working fine anyway. I'll I'll just show now where I'm up to. Also trying a few other packages out as well. But this is where this has took me ages just to get just to get to this stage here. And that's the main um, that's the main layout, the main part of it. And of course with iTrain it automatically loads up all your locomotives, all the functions, all your accessories. All your point decoder configurations, everything is all. That's what makes it quite easy because it's just drag and drop wherever you put, wherever you draw a point, drag and drop the information. I've had to tweak and mess around with some of these points to get them to work right because they're a bit mixed up on the ECOS. But as you can see, I've got my turntable. Don't know how that connects or how you get that going. I haven't got a clue. That's a small station there. That's the uh, main yard, goods yard with a building. Crane is here. These little dots here are just lights. So I'm going to press that. It lights all the uh, tower lights up that I've got. Um, yeah, so it is working at the moment. I've got a couple of blocks, stations, and sensors set up here on the small station, and they light up and they work. But I haven't got a clue how to get a schedule or a route going. I just have to go through the instructions and have a reading. I haven't, just haven't got a clue. So you can see one of the sensors lighting up there now. And this one here should light up in a minute. Yeah, it's lit up and it should go out. It's gone out. So the sensors are working. For some reason I've got a lock. I have made up a route, but I don't know exactly what I've done. But I've got like a lock on the point there, so that means part of that route is locked. Uh, so yeah, there's all the points. The points are working. And you can select any point. I've also wired up a couple of signals as well in, in conjunction with points. So that signal there is on red. I want that light to turn green there when I open this point. So if I click on the signal, um, well that's not working properly yet. That should turn green, but it's not. I'm not winding up properly. But if I go into the Turnimus, I've got the Turnimus now. That's the Turnimus station. Of all the platforms, I've got the uncoupling ramps working. All of them are working, and that's the main station. All the points are working. Uh, yeah, so all the double slips are working. So yeah, as I say, I mean, it's like, with me working and that, trying to do stuff like this, it's, it just took so long to do. But yeah, it's all, this is all done now. So the next thing, obviously, is trying to get it to work from installing the blocks and trying to get it to work on a simple automation route. So that's that. The other package I was looking at is uh, JMRI. I'll just load that up. That's quite an advanced package. You've got to make sure you get the configuration right before you even install that. That's another advanced uh, automation programming package. Uh, I've only downloaded this tonight and I really don't know much how you work this. I'm not sure, so I've got to look into that. That's another one I was looking at. Looking at. That's free, that's free of charge. 
Um, another one I'm looking at is Railroad Automation, it's called. Just logging onto the server, I think, yeah. Railroad Aut Automation, and this package is really good. Uh, railroad Automation. About, let's have a look. There we go. You can, it's a free package, but you can support it. Um, per, hang on, developed by Persily Manol. I think I'm not sure if I pronounce, pronounce that right. But again, this looks a really good package. And but, oh, sorry, I've gone off that. It's only if you've got a loco net which works with a Z21 so you could use this system if you've got the loco net cables and all the feedbacks you could use it with a Hulenbrock um, command stations or the Z21 as well you could use that with and I know there's another chap on YouTube which put me onto this I can't remember his name now I've, um, I've mislaid his um, channel and uh, yeah thanks anyway we're putting us onto that. It's, I'm not going to be using this because I use the ECOS, so you can't use this with the ECOS. So that's another package which we've been looking at. And on a course, Rock Rail, which <laughs> I still I've not got any further with that really. Um, that's all I've got. Just adding an extra block. I've got three blocks running, and they're all working. But again, I cannot, I've had a look at the instructions, I cannot work out how to get a route going and a schedule. All I can do is get the train going and it won't stop. And it's just quite complex and I can't get onto the server, sorry, the um, forum, because it won't let me uh, go on with my email addresses for some reason, really strange. So I'm sort of leaving that for now. I'm concentrating, I'm concentrating back with iTrain. Of course, with this one, you've got to individually input each each engine and all the inputs on all your track um, addresses for all, all your points on the accessory decoders. You've got to individually put them on this package where with I train, it's drag and drop because it loads them all up. It's great. So yeah, uh, that is it. That's that's where I'm up to at the moment. So yeah, I'll give another update. Of how far I get with this uh, I train. Thanks for watching.